Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have some RPG goodness. This time it's Hollier and Appalachian Apocalypse. Map Pack 1, Speak Easy and Textile Mill. Used for the Savage Worlds RPG Adventure Edition. So let's see what it says in the back. I'll see the price. This is $14.99. The pack contains one large double side po poster map, 30 by 24 marked with a one inch grid, ideal for use with miniatures or with our holler pawns. This map features a textile mill and a speakeasy for use with the holler and Appalachian apocalypse setting. Holler maps are perfect for strange worlds. These heavy stock, dry, and wet erase combat maps feature some of the most useful locations for your campaign. It's for use for Holler and the Savage Worlds role-playing game. This was released in 2022 by Pinnacle Entertainment Group. So there you are. Of course, the dust cover I always keep. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. The dust covers I always keep. Now, I did it. I did a um, unboxing recently for... Um, the uh, Dungeon Craft Buildings Pack. And when I said that needed a, something to put them inside of, this would be the way to go. You always have something where you can slide this in here. You could travel with you. It kind of, the, the dust jacket always, uh, you know, takes away a little wear and tear of the map. But it's always something good to have because you just slide it right in there. You know what it goes to. So if you don't have one of these, it gets kind of confusing what map is for what, for what type of RG program or whatever. Again, whenever you undo one of these maps, you gotta, you gotta bend it up a bit because it'll get a little creaky. So I always do that first, always do that first with all the maps that I purchased. As you guys know, I do a lot of unboxing for maps. So let's take a look at this side first. Again, we have two different parts of this. We have the speakeasy and we have the textile mill. So this side here looks like it is the speakeasy. This is the speakeasy side, I'm gonna say. So let's take a look at it. So you got a nice wooded area around it. So look like a little campfire going on outside. Leading into the outside of the speakeasy. Very, very vibrant uh, colors. Really, really pops. Really, really nicely done. And then you have the inside of the speakeasy. Got tables and chairs, some bottles thrown around. Looks like there are some chairs or maybe knocked over in a disagreement. It's got some windows. I'll see the doors. There's windows clearly marked. There's doors clearly marked. So that's very cool. And we'll go to the last part of the map. So here you got a stove. Again, this can be used for any type of RPG. You know, it's meant for a holler. Um, and Savage Worlds, but again, this could be used for could be used for any type of RPG, whether it be Aliens, it could be for Starfinder, it could be for uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it could be for you know, enter name of um, RPG that you want to use. Even for Blade Runner, you can use this for an off-world adventure. So it's it can be used for anything that you want. Uh, creativity wise. So let me just lay this back flat down again so you get a full full scope of what the whole map looks like. Again, it's beautifully done. I mean this is this is a quality map. I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is this is high quality, beautifully done. Really, really happy about the purchase. Again, each square would represent five feet. And there you have it. Again, if I want to take a couple figures, just throw them out on the board so you get an idea what they look like. Just tell you that the vast size of this map, which is really cool too. And these are Night Gaunts, Warhammer. So 
policy. That's what it would look like on them. They're not painted, but again, you get the general idea of what it would look like with the figures on the map. The scale and the scope of them. Perfect size for the, the circle bases. If you had square bases, it works well with that as well. So they look really, really cool. Really, really well done map. Very, very excited about this pickup. Very cool. And we're going to flip this over. And this is going to be your textile mill. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up, as they say. And you got the outside. You got your double doors here. You got your windows easily identifiable in the map. Again, this can be used for an apocalypse game. This can be used for, again, a great thing about these maps, they can be used in any kind of adventure that you want to use it for. So again, there's more parts of your textile mill here. Bunch of crates, more crates. And then we'll just flip it over this way so you can see the last part of the map, which would be right here. Yeah, I got some tables. Got a baseball bat hanging out there. This is even a map that this is a map that I even I would use for um, the Walking Dead all out war figures. It would again be perfect size for them as well. An adventure. You know. But again, it's a beautiful map. Vibrant colors, just really captures the, the vibe of an apocalyptic setting. You know, it's a huge, it's a huge building. Obviously, the guys are coming running in. Coming to attack somebody. It just gives you scope. So it's five, you know, five feet per square. So you're talking about a lot of area where you can have figures, where you can have different things happening in there. If I wanted to, I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I'm just going to say you can place a car in there, just give a general just uh, idea of what it looks like on the board. You know, it tells you how large the scale of the map. I mean, the map's a, it's a gigantic map, honestly. That's just for scale. Per, you know, just trying to give you an idea of what the map looks like. Obviously, none of the figures in the car is not, are not included in the purchase of this product. But there you have it. That's everything that's included in this unboxing of Holler and Appalachian Apocalypse Map Pack 1 Speakeasy and Textile Mill for use in the Savage Worlds RPG. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could always give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release any new content. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.